Hello lovelies and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for all your support um, so far, for all your likes, comments and subscribes. I really appreciate it. And if you're new here, welcome. So I'm doing this um, Twin Flame reading today to check up on the energies. Um, but also because we've got this blue moon this Saturday, the 31st of October, Halloween. Um, and the full moon is in Taurus, which is a symbol of desire, and it moves us towards the realisation of our goals. Now, obviously, the fact that it's on Halloween makes it extra special and um, very rare that this happens. The last time was about 19 years ago. Um, next one in about 17 years time 2037 so for me it feels really powerful and I must also just say about my dream that I had last night um, the only thing I remember was seeing the word catalyst um, sometimes I have dreams like that where I just see a word but they're often quite powerful you know in, in terms of the message so again what I feel from that is events and people are going to create quite big changes this week I feel so this is my prediction you heard it here first <laughs> um, it's something I've been feeling you know you, you might have seen I've been doing a few blue moon readings recently so I just feel it's it's a time for change for lots of people You might be feeling that yourself as well. So let's see what messages we get first of all for Twin Flames. Okay, so we'll take those. So we got love is all around you, first of all. Yeah, you might be feeling the energy of your twin flame at the moment. Um, you know, or just, just in general, you might be feeling in a very loving vibration, which is great. I feel a lot of you are manifesting, visualising, um, having memories at this time. We're in Mercury retrograde, so it's very common. We've got the number 16, so that's a 7. We've got another 7 here, 34 equaling a 7. So 77, now very spiritual numbers, obviously, spiritual connect connection. Um, this is saying receive with love and appreciation so showing your love okay and receiving with love as well we've got a snowflake here so I really do see the winter as a time for many twin flames coming into union as we move into the age of Aquarius at the end of December. Yeah, lots of, notice all these birds. This is showing me all these unions that are gonna happen. Very magical, wow. Okay, and it's like, you know, you know it's coming. We also, no surprise, got 11. So twin flame number here, master number. And it's saying to look to your inner strength. Yeah, so some of you have really not given up. But, um, I'm not saying that, but you've kind of detached. You're wondering if this is going to happen. Go within. Okay, look at how you're feeling, what's coming up for you. If there's anything else you need to purge, but know that you're very strong. 
okay, and very insightful, very intuitive. Again, you've got that inner knowing I get from these two cards. And this is beautiful, the Union of Hearts, my favourite card. And this explains it all, doesn't it? A love connection defies explanation. Yeah. So we've got the word union. So again, this is what is to come. Some of you may just be feeling more connected at the moment in the 5D with your twin. Uh, we've got a 28 equaling a 1. And this could be more into the springtime that the unions happen. So starting from the winter onwards, okay? But again, you know, time is fluid. We can't really um, predict time so much. Um, numbers we've got 1, 2, 7, 7. So for some of you, these could be life path numbers. And at the bottom of the deck, this card keeps coming up, Choose Love. This for me is about all the reminiscing, all the memories that are coming up, being stirred at the moment in particular, in Mercury Retrograde for masculines and feminines. Transformations happening, changes happening again. We've got 21 equaling a 3. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 7. So any of these could be your life path number or your twins. Okay. So. Let's check in on the feminine, divine feminine, and see what this... This week, and especially this full moon, what it could bring for the Divine Feminines. Okay, we got the four of wands at the bottom. <laughs> so your twin flame is on your mind, feminines. You're trying to manifest and visualize. Yeah, there's your king, the king of cups. You might be feeling their energy, as I said before, more strongly at this time. Okay, um kind of what came out last week some of the feminines have detached their energy doesn't mean they've given up okay but they've just detached energetically focusing more on themselves their own stability you know being in control of of their life and how they're moving forward so moving forward with strength Okay, she might also still be checking up on the Divine Masculine online, but not communicating. The feminine is um, up and down, though, with her emotions. So she, one minute she's feeling in control, got the world at her fingertips. Um, doing all right financially and stuff and then other times she feels confused about what's going on she doesn't really know we've got the infinity symbol here so she's trying to stay balanced um, internally and with the Sun this is the masculine energy so She's not only um, connecting with her own masculine energy in terms of trying to be in control, you know, 
as the Queen of Wands. So I feel she's balancing, yeah, she's balancing her masculine and feminine energies with that Two of Pentacles. Um, but she's also here, she's got the masculine on her mind. Maybe having, as I said earlier, memories about him. She's trying to stay positive. That's what I'm getting. She might be feeling enlightened at the moment as well. Okay. So what about the masculines, divine masculines? Okay, we'll get one more, so it's even. Okay. Now, I'm not surprised we got the moon. Oh, I just noticed we've got five. Okay, I didn't see that card underneath. So we've got one extra for the masculine. Um, not surprised we got the moon. This keeps coming out. So as I said, something around this full moon could be more relevant for the masculines. Things happening behind the scenes. Um, things coming to light with the moon. Something being illuminated by the angels to the masculine. Feeling more connected with the feminine. Um, eight of water. Now, some masculines, this group I'm picking up on in particular, I feel want to move on from their current situation. So there's that change I was talking about. And the moon brings in the strength for them to do it. Maybe some secrets are unveiled. Um, but they, they just realise that they're unfulfilled. They want something more meaningful. And more of an ascension energy coming through. In these karmic situations, some of the masculines might have been under the thumb sort of thing. Um, I, I've been getting this a lot. The, the karmic has been quite manipulative. Trying to take control all the time make all the decisions and the masculines at this time are going to start defending themselves needing to choose their battles wisely but very defensive energy coming through with that king of fire wow there's the couple queen of wands king of wands which for me is the, the twin flame couple. So again, knowing what he wants, communicating about what he wants, um, taking control, having the motivation to move on. And we've got justice, so karma. Yeah. A lot of masculines have been in karmic situations. Interesting I had the word catalyst in my dream isn't it? Now catalyst can also be um, a person you know like a karmic partner who is the catalyst for <coughs> excuse me for the growth of you know spiritual growth of the person they're with so there comes the eight of water his spiritual growth as a result of this catalyst. That's what I'm really feeling here. Things are going to work out um, for the masculines. Again, th there's a, a sense of standing up for themselves coming through. They're going to realise 
their situation, as I said, doesn't serve them. They've had enough, is what I'm hearing. Could also be like a divorce, um, those that are married. Okay, um, and at the bottom, no surprise, we've got strength. So they're going to need to be very strong um, and have compassion during this time. It's not going to be easy for them. Um, we've got a lot of fire. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra and Pisces. Um, don't worry too much about the signs. Um, obviously Aquarius, Libra, Gemini as well, but you know, sometimes it, you know, it can be relevant. I know people like to hear them, so there you go. Um, what are the challenges this week for the Divine Feminine? Wow. Okay, this is why I like to use two decks, because look, we got the King of Wands, the Divine Masculine. <laughs> That's what he got before. So, um, the challenge is feeling left out by the Masculine, so some of you are just not communicating, or there's next to no communication. Um, also this can be maybe some, um, oh goodness, sorry guys, it's Mercury retrograde and my speech has just gone today, so sorry if I'm not very eloquent. Um, so maybe some fears around money, how things are going to move forward, and maybe actually moving forward is in is her issue um maybe if she's got her own business this could be an issue for her and knowing what she wants because we got that two of pentacles before so some feminines are a bit up and down not quite decided on what it is that they want and that's their challenge there, actually knowing it. The feminine also got the strength at the bottom, wow. And both these cards, notice the infinity symbol at the top, so it's a very, you know, spiritual symbol there. Taming the beast within, staying um, focused, being strong, sending, being grounded and sending, you know, loving energy to the masculine. Okay, what's the challenge for the masculines? So we got the six of air at the bottom. That actually moving on is the challenge. So we got before they want to they want to just move on. But for some of them it's actually doing it that's a bit tricky. Um maybe knowing how to do it, especially if they're you know, married and have a family. But this is the end of that situation, I feel, for a lot of masculines. Um, yeah, the challenge could be around the home, I feel. And their spiritual growth and intuition. And we also got 
awakening here. So looking at things differently, maybe feeling a bit stuck, is is a challenge. Um, I also feel with this card, it's the emotions that come up for them, that they've been repressing. That is the challenge. Because although they know what they're in doesn't serve them, some of them, they're still awakening, so they still don't know exactly what it is they're feeling. They're a bit confused. Okay, anything else for the Divine Feminine we should know? Okay, wow. So a lot of memories at the moment with the Six of Cups there. You know, memories about the past coming up for the feminine. Um, a lot of purging with these two. The full moon often does bring up lots of emotions, okay? And so that's why this could be could be the case with this Six of Cups here. Healing as well with the star. Okay, so we've got Aquarius energy here and we've got the tower at the bottom. Yeah, there's the change I was saying about that I'm sensing. Something's going to happen, good or bad, okay? Wow, the Knight of Cups. So some of you are actually going to receive a romantic offer from this Knight of Cups, yeah, who has walked away from that situation that didn't serve him, laid down his swords and notice he's here, he's reflecting and thinking as well about how he feels. That's why the Ace of Water was his challenge, getting in touch with his emotions. So be prepared for minutes, okay, because it can come out of the blue, like this full moon, once in a blue moon. Okay, so what else about the masculines? So, okay, we got the Six of Air again. So they will, you know, things are going to look up for them. They are going to end that situation. But before that, there's what I was sensing before. They're, some of them are going to be unable or unwilling to make that decision to move on. Acting as though there's no problem is what a lot of them have been doing. They've been hiding their emotions that's why that was their challenge thinking oh no it's all fine but they're doing what people around them want not what they want and this is you know this is where they're at with their karmic look stalemate locking horns or whatever you want to call it for unicorns um not going anywhere you know heads knocking together um, not going forward so that's where they're at and they are going to move on with that wheel as well there you go karma again time of positive change moving forward okay with the ten an ending definitely so this is the change I feel coming for the masculines from 
this week onwards. Um, we've got fixed signs, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus there. Bottom of the deck, King of Earth, yes. So, being, you know, the masculine is going to be very confident, finding his own stability. Um, I feel he's been through a lot of lessons, which is what I was saying last week in the reading you might have seen and he's levelling up after that lesson there's the Queen of Fire again that came out for the feminine so there's you on their mind the one they want to commit to with that King of Earth Wow, and they got the star as well. So, on the right path, yeah, destiny. You're both destined to come back together. Know that, okay? Healing as well is what they need to do before. So just be aware of that, okay, if they come rushing in. Um... And they're, they're making long-term plans, or they're going to make long-term plans. Okay, wow. So, I'm going to get some... These are channeled messages from Divine Feminines. What do Divine Feminines want to say, please? That one's gone flying somewhere, sorry. I can't I can't even see it. Um Oh yeah. <laughs> I got it. It it was um by my feet. We get another one for luck. Okay. So femi Divine Feminines want to say, I miss you so much. I see reminders of you all the time. And when I think of my future, I see you in it. Okay, now, from the Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine. Okay, so, I promise I'll reach out to you soon, I love you, yeah, that's what I'm feeling, from what I was saying here, when that ending comes, I'm sorry I screwed up, no one else compares to you, there you go, Twin Flames Beautiful. So I really do feel we've got some changes coming, haven't we, with this full moon, very powerful, and onwards, you know, remember everyone's timelines are different, so if it isn't this week, don't worry, but I feel it's the start of this powerful change that's coming, this catalyst, I think that's the theme of this video from that dream that I had that I just mentioned before okay everyone so I hope this has resonated um, please let me know in the comments thank you once again for all your support please do like comment and subscribe um, I'll keep trying to bring these twin flame messages to you when I can